Hey guys, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday, and this is the last Facebook Friday for a while, for two Fridays. I'll be gone with Stampin' Up! for two Fridays, so this is the last one for a while, and then there'll be maybe two more before I move. You can see I've started to take down things. I gotta work on all of this. This is a lot, this is gonna have like a layer of dust on it. I'm gonna need a hazmat suit, I'm afraid. See all that stuff up there? <laughs> I think I'm gonna work on that this weekend. We've got a bunch of boxes. Our goal this weekend is to pack, 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 pack. And I have been avoiding all of that. I'm just looking at it in the camera. That's a lot of stuff. But anyways, um, I, so I, I mean, the countdown is on. Right, so we've got this Facebook Friday and then I think there'll be two in June and then I'll be gone for a month at least. So I've got some cute stuff planned. Got some cute stuff planned. Hello, I see you guys. Hello, hello. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a great week. It's Friday, it's May, it's almost summer. You guys, my daughter is headed home from college today for summer. She called me yesterday and said, I just finished my last exam and I am halfway through college. Wow, it goes by so fast. I swear the older we get. All right, it's good to see you guys. So today we are doing, so whoops, I just knocked a stamp off. Where did that come from? Um, so refreshing. Who ordered this? Who who had this on their first order? This was on, This was probably number one on my order. I love this set. Um, it's cute. It's summery. It is lemon-ish, and it it pairs great with the sweet citrus set. If you have gotten that set, um, I always say when we have these sets that have all these little things, it makes me feel like I'm playing with my dollhouse. You know, it has a little glasses and a little pitcher and a little picnic blanket. It's just really cute. So this is like grown-up doll dollhouse. <laughs> Oh, somebody got it. Who was it? I just missed a comment. Just flew by. Why does it go by so fast? Now I can't find it. Well, good. I'm glad some of you have it. Oh, Linda. Yeah, Linda got it. Good. Joan, you're not sold on it yet. Okay. Give me some time. I've got some cute projects. It is, um, it's a little bit tedious, right? It has all these little pieces, but I like those kinds of sets. Um, you know, maybe that's not for you, but I'm gonna show you today how the Take Your Pick tool really helps with those little tedious sets. Kimberly, I see you on there. You haven't ordered it yet, but you want it after you you know you're gonna want it. I hope so. It's a cute set. Um, like I said, it was the first one that I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things. I got a couple of cards um, just yesterday, I believe in the mail, Chris. Chris, Chris always sends me beautiful cards. Um, I have used um, this paper a couple of times in the last couple of weeks on my blog. If you haven't checked it out, it's the um, Fresh as a Daisy. It's really interesting paper. It's kind of got weird colors, um, but like a lot of our papers, if you take one print of the paper and use it by itself, it's fabulous, like this. Um, it's when you try to mix all those weird patterns together that then it gets kind of crazy. But this... Um, this uh, paper is like that. Um, you know, I wish I had that card. I, I posted a card day before yesterday. And um, Carla, I saw you ask and I didn't answer. The yellow striped paper that was on, I've used it twice now, is from this set, this paper set. It has um, a 12 by 12 piece that has all these little sections of different patterns. They're almost like... Um, uh, what do you call it? You know, the little scrapbooking, memories and more, um, project life. It's almost like little cards like that. So, um, very cute. I just cut that one apart and I used it twice. Um, but anyway, back to Chris. She did a cute card with a pattern that I haven't used. This is the color, you know, it's funny. This is, um, one of our new in colors, Moody Mauve. And it's, I think the name is good because it's moody. I don't, I don't, know if I love it. This is the color my kids, when we go shopping, this is the color they go to every time. This is the color of shirt they want. It's just so like 80s to me. Um, but it looks good here. I, You know, it's funny. I need to pull it out 
because I haven't used it at all. It's the only ink pad I haven't opened, but Chris, Chris's card is really making me think maybe I need to use it. But anyway, thank you, Chris. It's beautiful. Um, and if you'll notice, she actually didn't even use the Daisy stamp set. She used that, um, Oh, I used it a couple times. I can't remember what it's called, but it was the one. Of, it was on our pre-order, and it has these little frames and these little sprigs that go behind the frames. So not a lot of stamping. You don't need a lot of stamping with that paper. Anyway, thanks, Chris. I got um, from Robin one of my downlines. She sent me a um, Taco Fiesta card, and <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Okay, so it came in a big envelope, right? And, and I opened it. It looks like this, but wait. Boop, look. Yeah like blow my mind here. I've seen, um, I can't remember who did it. Somebody did a bowl of guacamole that was similar to this and it was freaking adorable. So this is super cute, Robin. Um, very cute. Look, she wrote her little message on the bottom. Sometimes you wonder where you're going to write your message, but she wrote it on the bottom. This is one of those engineering cards that I can't wrap my head around. Robin, it's really good. It's like perfect. It's so beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, those of you that have been sending me Taco Fiesta cards, I have been, I have a, I bought a special box for them. Oh yes, it was Rachel. That's right. Rachel Tessman. She did the guacamole bowl. I was like, oh my God, it's so amazing. Um, those that have sent me Taco Fiesta cards, I've kept every single one. I have a special memory box now for all my Taco Fiesta cards. So this one's definitely going in there. All right. Um, I want to mention to you guys that I have one box of class kits left. I've told you this, guys, for weeks. I keep, I make extra kits usually when I cut class kits, and then I keep them in case um, one gets lost or damaged or whatever, then I can replace it. Well, most of the time that doesn't happen. So I have, I've had a ton of boxes, and I gave a bunch of them away for free in March. I've sold a few. I have one box of class kits left. You can't see it, but it's right there. And it's heavy, so they're still for sale, you guys. I've got some old retired class kits. Um, this one is Cactus Cuties, and it was a club kit. You recognize that paper? Um, and somebody had emailed me in the last few months and asked me about this kit, and I said I didn't have any more. Um, because I didn't think I did. And so, of course, when we were cleaning out the garage, I have a, a big shelf up at the top of the garage where I keep my retired stuff. And we pulled a box down and it was class kits and these were in there. So if it was you, I don't know who you were, but I have them. I have a few. Um, I have a few things, um, a few Christmas things. Um, this one, I only have one of. Oh, and it just fell apart. These darn bags, I've, I've started buying bags from somewhere else because my bags are splitting. I don't know what's going on, but this one, which now I can't even hold up, it lost the tag too. No, I don't want to lose the tag. Hold on, hold on. Man, okay, here it goes. Those tags are important. Candy cane, I've got one of those left. Um, so just look through there. If you go to the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, um, there is a drop-down menu that says shop. And under there is class kits and um, past class kits, I think. And you can look. Um, if I don't, if you buy some class kits and I don't send you an email within 24 hours, please email me because suddenly my website has stopped sending me all emails. Usually I get a notification, you've sold a kit. And then I immediately open it. Well, I realized, I think maybe last week or week before that I wasn't getting those anymore. And when I opened it, I had a bunch of orders that I hadn't seen. So if that ever happens, please email me. You guys know email is a nightmare. We can't live without it, but yet it's completely unreliable. It's driving me absolutely crazy. All right. So just a few things. Countryside Corners is our all-star tutorial. I sent this out just a few days ago to everyone who put in an order in the, the last week, the first week of the new catalog. This is 12 video tutorials, all featuring the country. Suddenly I thought it said country time like the lemonade countryside corners um or countryside in a uh, suite of products and mine is a box of course that was the first thing i thought of turning that into a box um but um you get this free when you spend fifty dollars um with me online like a stampin up order um you can also buy it in my PDF store for $15 also under that drop down menu there at the top of my blog um Lisa, is my memory box taco themed? No, it's just a Rubbermaid tub. <laughs> but it would have been cute, wouldn't it, if it had been a taco box? 
Um, we just had Fiesta here in San Antonio. So all the stores had Fiesta themed things. Um, I didn't see a taco box. There was a lot of like taco holders, mariachi type things, but no, I didn't see a taco box. That would have been very cute. Um, Club Create Zany Zoo, the Club Create kit for June is available. It's this adorable Zany Zoo. Where's my other card? One, two, three. I'm missing a card. One, two, three. Well, there's, there'll be four cards. It's gone. There'll be four cards. You know what? I think maybe I have it over there somewhere. Um, yes, I do. I know exactly where it is. Oh, no, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let me put them all. Let me just put them all in my hand so they look all cute. See right here? Pinks, um, bubble bath, lemon lime twist, um, berry burst, um, lemon lolly. So four cards and a box. Um, Club Create is my subscription program. And it's, it is going to continue with my move next month. It is the one thing that I am not going to forsake, I promise. Um, Facebook Friday will stop for a while, but Club Create will not stop. Um, I, um, just finished the reason I'm looking over there is I just finished up uh, this month's club create kits. They'll be going out Monday and Tuesday. I got them done way early this month cause I'm leaving. You know, when you are going out of town and you move, you have to really like be strategic. So I've got that club create will continue. So if you are not subscribed to club create, it's $39 a month. Um, you get about $20 in product. You get five projects, a PDF, a video and shipping. Um, and on the sixth month, you get um, $25 in uh, product, a product credit that you can add to your kit. Um, what was I going to say about that? I don't know. I think that's it. Um, $39. And PDF and the video are available in my PDF store if you just want the tutorials. Okay, yeah, moving brain. Lisa, everything brain right now. Everything is just... Oh. Um, okay, I'm going to flip you guys around and I'm going to show you my Norway box. Okay, now there's a lot of drama with people who are going to Norway and who haven't gotten their box and who don't want to see the box until they get it. So I'm giving you fair warning right now that if you don't want to see what's in my Norway box, that Stampin' Up! scent, then you need to turn it off. Okay, so spoiler alert, I'm going to show you, I think it's I think it's safe. We've had it for a while now. So I think it's safe. And I've seen a few people posting online. I don't want to hear from anybody complaining, okay? Because I've given you like a lot of warning before I show you. All right. So you guys want to see? So um, Stampin' Up! Incentive Trip, I leave Thursday. Um, and I'm going to be gone for 10 days. And we're going to go to London for a couple of days. And then we're going on a Norwegian fjord. I used to call it fjord because I didn't know what the heck those were. The South Texas girl. But my Canadian and Michigan friends um, made fun of me enough that I can now say fjord. Yes, I know. Whatever. Um, anyway, it's a Norway fjord cruise. And um, they sent us this giant box. Normally on the cruise... Or on a trip, you get a pillow gift every night. Okay, I'm still giving you spoiler alert. I'm not opening yet. If you see this and you don't want to see what's inside of it, please look away. Um, every night they would leave something on our bed. It's called a pillow gift. And they've decided not to do that this year. Instead, they just sent it all to us ahead of time. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I don't like that idea. <laughs> um, I love having a surprise. And even my husband loves um, every night going to see what I get on the bed. But anyway, whatever. That's what we're getting. Um, I'm not going to complain because, hello, it's still beautiful things that they're sending us. The box alone is super cute. Maybe I should use this as my taco memory box. It's uh, very cute. Um, it's not as cute as when I opened it now because I've undone everything. Look. Look at that. Isn't that really cute? All right. So inside, we knew we were going to get a Norwegian sweater because um, they asked us our size. And so this is what it looks like. And it is gorgeous. It's very heavy. Um, really heavy. I'm not sure I'll ever have a chance to wear it, <laughs> honestly. I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's beautiful. It fit perfectly. Um, it's just really, really pretty. Um, it's wool which 
I don't think I've ever worn anything wool. You guys, if you don't know, I live in South Texas where it's summer, like 90% of the time. So, but anyway, it's gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to take it with me. I don't know if I'm going to need it over there right now. It's, you know, I'm hearing, I'm hearing different things. Um, some say it's super cold and some say, no, it's not really that cold. So I don't know. The other thing that they asked us about was a raincoat and I thought it was because they always give our spouses a gift too. And so I got the size for my husband, um, but I will probably wear it. It has a little Stampin' Up! logo over here because, you know, it's kind of wet over there up in the mountains and stuff. So that's always nice. And it folds down real small, it has a little bag. Um, you know, Nancy, I hear that. I hear, she says, I understand you will need it. Okay, that's what I hear. But then I look online at people who have been on these cruises at the same time and they say, you know, it warms up. So I don't know. I will probably freeze to death. <laughs> Truthfully, I probably will. I was cold when we went on the Mediterranean trip, which was ridiculous because it wasn't that cold. Um, I'm bringing layers. I think layers will be good, right? So that I can peel layers off. If I get hot, because when we went to Alaska, I was so hot the whole time. It was hot, which was disappointing. Um, okay, so this is this cute little thing. It says in, a beautifully engraved rose mailing rolling pen features traditional Norwegian folk art. Look up Norwegian uh, cookie recipe and have a go at embossing the cookie dough. So I haven't opened this yet. I've been real busy, but I think we will open it together if I can't do this without slicing my hand open. Look, oh, look at that. I mean, that's a work of art, right? Like, I think that needs to hang on a wall somewhere. Wow, that is gorgeous. Very pretty. All right, and then we got um, some socks. Also, <laughs> I'm not sure I'll ever wear these. I mean, you know who's going to love these are my kids. Um, my kids love big fuzzy socks. Um let me see if I can open this, but they're so cute. Look, they're thick. I might take these just, you know, because it might get cold there at night on the ship. All right, so we got two sets of these and then we get our luggage tags. I, my suitcase looks like I'm a vagabond or something. I have kept every luggage tag on there from every single trip because I love when on my very, very first trip, I remember seeing, um, suitcases lined up in the hallway of the cruise ship and you could tell who had been on lots of trips because they had lots of luggage tags and I loved that I thought it was kind of like a little memory you know like a I don't know just a little memory you know token and so I leave mine on there they give us a lot so if it falls off I don't worry about it because I have extras um but um so now I'll add one more and the when you check into the airport they always comment like whoa where have you been <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to explain that I earned the trips and they're always like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right. And then this super cute card and it says, congrats on your incredible achievement. Our trip is getting closer and we can't wait to experience the sights of Norway with you. Um, we're excited for you to receive these exclusive Norway inspired gifts. We hope they serve as a reminder of what you work so hard to earn. We appreciate you and all that you do to share what you love as um, you help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. Love Shelly and Sarah. Adorable. And then a pen. We always get a pen. And I have a little bulletin board. You might have seen it in the background. Oh, and then this too. I wasn't totally certain what this is, but this is a strap that goes around your luggage, I guess, to keep it from busting open, <laughs> which is cool. I don't have one of those. All right. So that's it. Really cool. Hope I didn't ruin it for anybody. I gave you lots of fair warning. Hopefully you didn't see it if you were waiting on yours. Um, okay, so that is that. So that means I will not be here next week and I will not be here the week after. So there will be two non-Facebook Fridays. Um, I'm trying to get some things prepared for my blog posts. I think I'll have enough things for you, um, but there won't be any lives but make sure you are a part of this facebook group i will share pictures and things here on this facebook group while i'm gone uh, most likely i will post here uh, my blog i'll probably have things scheduled so they won't be probably i won't be showing pictures from the cruise on there so if you want to see and keep up with our adventures um just follow along here 
Okay, so today for Facebook Friday, we're doing the So Refreshing set. If you've never joined us for Facebook Friday, I'm glad that you're here. If you go to my blog, pinkbuggeroo.com, has anybody checked to see if my blog post um, went up? Um, Linda says, I was in Norway in September. Glad I threw in a winter coat last minute. Yes, I'm definitely taking a coat. I'm actually taking two coats. One that's like the one I wear here. It's kind of like a, you know, like a light coat. And then one that I got in... Um, Utah in um, Park City last year, and it's like a winter coat. So I'll be good. I'll be good. I have some layers. We'll be good. Um, so this is free over on my blog. It's under the last photo. Thank you, Patricia. She says it's up. Um, it has links to the things that I've talked about. Um, the paper pumpkin kit for June coordinates with the countryside corners suite and there's going to be an add-on set of dies those sold out like that last time so if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber i wonder if they're already available um if you are let, let me just pull this up real quick and see um then you're going to want to get those because last time i mean they sold out like fast i don't know um let me see um, products. Well, I guess I could show you guys what I'm doing. Um, and then you go to kits, paper, pumpkin, shop all, um, refills, past kits, and more. Let's see. I think it would probably be there. Yep. There they are. The welcome end dies are $6. So if you're getting next month's paper pumpkin, June, um, you want to add, you want to order that. And that's not, that's like a separate order. And look, I didn't get these either, these card bases for this month's kit, May's kit, which has already passed the subscription period. All right, so grab those if you want. The, I found them like this. Click on the three lines, shop products, kits, paper, pumpkin. And then I did, you can click on refills, pass kits, and more. And it's right there, okay? And you can only order those if you have a paper pumpkin subscription. Um, I usually get a lot of extra paper pumpkins, but with the move, I'm not going to get very many. So don't count on emailing me if you want kits or if you, you know, forgot or whatever, you need to make sure you subscribe. You can always buy a one month subscription or a three month subscription, um, and do it that way. And that, cause I know sometimes if you're like me, you subscribe and then you forget to cancel it. And so if you're worried about that, do the prepaid subscription. Okay, winners for last week. Last week, I said I was going to give away the Share the Milkshake Bundle Plus, a class kit that I had left over. Judy, Cruz, Cruz, Judy, I know your mailing address unless you've moved. I will send this out to you next week. Thanks for sharing my video. Um, to enter, to be entered to win a prize, just share my video on Facebook or YouTube. Um, and in the comments, let me know that you shared. And next in three weeks, I'm going to be giving away the go-to greetings. Two of them. This is a really good set. I mean, everybody needs this set, right? For those cards that you just need to slap on a basic sentiment on. Um, so over at my blog, I said there was a free PDF. Along with that, if you like today's projects and you would like for me to send them to you for free, I give them to anybody who spends $35 or more with me online between now and Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want um, as long as it is at stampinup.com and you use that host code and it's over $35. Then on Tuesday morning, I get up, I write down everybody's name and I cut them a kit for today's projects. I don't do any stamping. You'll need the stamps and the dies for the So Refreshing set. Plus, I'm using two other stamps that I'll show you in a little while. You can always sub whatever you have or just use the pieces, you know, to make whatever you want. Um, but I'll send it to you for free. There's a little thank you tag in there, but there is no stamping, okay? Now, while I'm gone, I'm going to be... This is until Monday, starting Monday at midnight. Then starting next week, I'm going to be offering mystery boxes and free mystery embellishment um, bundles as thank you for orders while I'm gone. So be looking for those details coming um, probably Wednesday next week. Okie dokie. I think we are ready to rock and roll. Let me see if I missed anything important. Come on, Facebook, show me the comments. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. I don't see anything. Um, 
Yeah, Nancy says, Midwest cold is different from Texas cold. Yes, I totally get that. Totally, totally get that. Um, Julie says, take both garments along. May is unpredictable in Norway. Yep, I've, I've heard that too. Um, so here's my problem, you guys. I'm a really bad packer. I pack too much every time. My suitcase is too heavy. I need two suitcases. And then I have too much. And, you know, when you're packing for a winter trip, it's even worse because everything is big. So my daughter has insulated boots that are real cute that I thought about taking, but they're huge. And that would take up, I mean, probably, you know, a fourth of my suitcase. So I'm really like, uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know. So I'm taking layers, you know, thin long sleeve shirt, a sweater and a coat. That way I can peel things off. But then... I don't want to be hot too. So I'm going to take some short sleeve things. I don't know. I watched a little thing um, on Norway. It was a little travel movie. It was not a movie, but like, you know, these people make travel videos. And she said they were at one of the stops and people were walking around in flip flops. They were so hot because the sun had come out. It was hot. It was warm up. So it can really run the gamut. I don't know. I don't want to take all this hot weather or cold weather stuff and then be hot. So... Maybe you'll see me in the same thing in every picture I take. Because <laughs> the one sweater or whatever I take that's super warm, I'll probably need it the whole time. We shall see. You're right, Jill. Better to have it and not need it. Um, yes, you're right. Rule to pack. Pull it out and take half away. Oh, my gosh. Marianne, would you please come to my house and help me? Because that is really, really hard. I, like, lay out all my outfits. Socks, shoes, get it all. Blah, 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 right? And then I, I pack it and then I throw this other thing in and they're like, oh, well, I might need this. I might want these jeans. And I just keep, because <sighs> you just never know. You know, you wake up, you might feel differently than wanting to wear what you had packed. Okay. I, di I, di I diverge from what we're talking about. We need to be talking about stamping, but you guys will see. I'll tell you in three weeks whether I froze or I sweat. We'll see. Um... Candy, wear them on the plane. Oh, that's a lot. That's a long trip with big old boots. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I just should take two suitcases, huh? I mean, then I would just take everything and then we wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Look at this beautiful color combination. So I really wanted to use Bubble Bath and Lemon Lolly. These are two new colors. They are subtles. Subtles usually aren't my favorite, but I do love these a lot. We've needed a good, just soft baby pink, and that's what we got in Bubble Bath. So I have been using it quite a bit. Um, Lemon Lolly is a very soft, but yet bright yellow. Um, I've got Granny Apple Green and Flirty Flamingo, which are from the Brights, as well as Daffodil Delight. We're going to use Lemon Lolly and Daffodil Delight for two-tone stamping on our lemons, okay? Okay, so let's play dollhouse, like I like to say, with these stamps. Um, we're going to do some two-step stamping. And as you guys know, the Stamparatus is no longer. However, I'm going to use it a little bit today. Um, the only thing that I found in here that I really couldn't line up easily were the flowers. I had a hard time getting the flowers to line up. Um, everything else is pretty easy. So I'm going to use the Stamparatus for those. Um, if you have the Stamparatus, of course, use it. Now, you know what? I just realized Smoky Slate. Here it is. We need Smoky Slate too. I'm going to stamp the inside images first. Um, and then the outline images. I find that that's a little bit easier to manage with these. This also, you know, I went straight to Lemonade when I saw this because it's got lemon stamps. Um, but there's a tiny die that I didn't know what it was right here. Tiny, tiny die. And it's actually a tea bag. So this could be sweet tea. You know, you, it doesn't have to be Lemonade. I used I used it as all lemonade for my um, projects because I love lemonade and I am not a tea drinker, but you can, of course, do tea. All right, so I've stamped all of those in Lemon Lolly. So let's close that and we'll get Daffodil Delight and we're going to do the outline of these. Now I have to pull it down, hopefully... I can see it well enough and you guys can still see what I'm doing. 
All right, and then we're gonna use, oh, let's do the lemon slice is right here. We'll stamp that in Daffodil Delight or Lemon Lolly, whichever one you want. Um, and then we'll use Smoky Slate. This little pitcher is just cute and round. It's a really cute shape. I have a collection of pitchers that I keep on the top of my refrigerator and I use these for flowers. I don't use vases. And you'll see we're gonna do that in the second project. All right, so there's that. Now, let's do our flowers. And I just used my whole piece of white. So let me get another piece of white. I've already set these up on my Stamparatus. And like I said, unfortunately, the Stamparatus is gone. So if you don't have it already, then you're just gonna have to wing it and try your best. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm sorry all right so let's see am I gonna have enough room yep yeah. we're gonna do the inside image in bubble bath and then we'll do the outline image in flirty flamingo and you know if you have your stamparatus and you line these all up once then you can stamp a bunch of them because once you have it lined up it's lined up. You don't have to redo it every time. And then Granny Apple Green. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now, I don't know what's going on with me lately, you guys, but I have been struggling with my die cuts. I'm having a hard time getting them to cut and stay where they're supposed to be. Like everything I cut lately has just been not very good. So I have really started using my post-it tape to keep my dies in place. Um, we don't have a magnetic platform anymore. So this is really your option. Um, I don't know. I think when the die is thicker around the edge, you have a harder time getting it in the right place maybe, um, or me. So I just really look at the bottom and the top and then I use my post-it tape to hold that down. And especially, whoops, we need to put a plate down there. Especially when you're gonna run it through with a bunch of things, as it goes over, it pops and it bumps everything out, out of place. So if you're gonna do all of these at once, you really want to use this tape. I linked it today. I get it on Amazon. I think you can get it like in your office supply store too. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Well, we'll do that in a minute. I forgot to stamp my ice cubes. Um, but you can also get it on Amazon for like, I don't know, $6. Um, it feels like maybe something has changed. I don't know, Cynthia. You're having that problem too? I can't really pinpoint why I'm having that problem. Um, but I'm having to, well, I just wiggled that one out of the way. I have to re-stamp and recut a lot lately. And I'm not 100%, I can't really nail down why that is. I'm not sure. Uh-oh, have I lost a die? Nope, there it is. Okay, so we're going to run this through. And I'm going to leave, I'm not going to tape those tiny ones down. Let's turn it and put those in first. Also, if you have a half inch circle punch, I found that it will cut out the this right here as well. If you don't wanna have to finagle around with that teeny tiny die. All right, run that through. Um, Joan says she needs new plates, new clear plates. And you know what, Joan, you're right. That will make a big difference. I just heard a die hit the ground and it's one that we need. Oh, where did it go? Oh no. Hold on guys. It hit the ground. I don't see it. It's the lemon and I'm using that one a lot. Okay, hold on. I heard it hit the ground. Um, clear plates. So yes, Mine were warped too, and I made a switch recently. The clear plates, if your clear plates get warped, they definitely 
it, that definitely can make a difference. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have to get down on the ground and look for this die. Hold on. I don't know where it went. Hmm. I heard it somewhere, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where it went. Hmm. You know, when I have an extra set, but it's in the other room. I was going to give it as a prize. Well, you guys, it's gone. It's long gone. So we're going to have to, I guess I'm going to have to fussy cut. Man, I'm probably just looking at it. I need you guys, I need your eyes to look for it. Don't you hate when that happens? And it always like bounces really far away. Well, all right. Moving on. I hope this isn't a sign of how today's going to go. Let's just cut it real quick. Of course, I think I'm using this on all three of them, all three projects today. And I've got a box that I screwed up again yesterday. So start placing your bets. Will Erica get the box right this week? We'll see. All right. It's gonna make me so mad that I have to stand here and fussy cut all this, but I don't wanna waste y'all's time looking for this stupid dye. I gotta to remember to look for it too, because you know, you move on and then you forget. All right, well, we're moving on. One other thing that you're gonna do is take your piece of four by five and a fourth inch basic white and one of your, your scallop borders, and I've got, um, I've got tape on this one. You definitely look on anything that could be leaning upright on. That's where I find mine. Donna, that's a great suggestion. I need a magnet. You know what? I have a magnet wand. I do. Somewhere. <laughs> I just looked and it's not there. I, you know what I need is I just need like a butler. I need a butler to follow me around and say, here, madam, you dropped this. Here, madam, you need this. <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys, this paper. Let me tell you about this paper. Let me pull it out. This paper right here is called Something Eclectic, and it's a huge pack of paper. It's $30, so you might be like, what the heck? But it's because it's huge. It's 12 by 12, and you get four sheets of each of the patterns. We're using it a couple of times today. It's definitely eclectic. It's all different, different colors, different patterns. Um, so check that out. I just wanted to point out that to you guys because I think that that's a fantastic pack of paper. And uh, But you might think, why is that so much? It's because it's a huge pack of paper. So that's what this strip is right here. All right, and then I'm gonna take my, is that not straight? Okay, well, we're gonna make the ribbon straight, which will make that straight. I'm gonna put tear and tape across there. Do I not have my tiny scissors? Yep, here they are. So you guys, you know how I'm a weather nerd, right? Well, guess what? We're getting ready to have some big weather and I cannot be more excited. <laughs> well, if you guys know, we have a boat and there's a lake about 30 minutes from here where we take our boat. And the lake, lake has completely run dry because of poor water management and we've had a drought, but mostly poor water management. But also it, has, it doesn't rain down here. Um, I'm, you know what? We need to stamp the ice cubes. They're so cute. We can't forget them. So what happens in South Texas is we go through periods of drought, which can last years, and periods of heavy flash flooding, major rain, rain bombs, these, you know, major like monsoon type rain. So the pattern has switched and now we're moving into that more rainy weather and we're all praying. We've been praying, praying, praying for our, our rain to fill the lake up. So maybe we're getting close. I don't think it's going to fill up this weekend, but they're saying we could get like 10 inches in some areas. And that would make a huge difference in our lake. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I told my husband, our boat's been in storage. I said, you better go get that boat 
and get it serviced and get it ready. He was like, you're jinxing it. If we do that, then we're jinxing it. Well, that's true. All right, I'm gonna take this little lemon slice and cut it like that. And um, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. We're gonna slide that on one of our glasses. So are you guys, I know my Texas friends know that the rain's coming, but is it moving? Is is it gonna is it gonna give rain up north like further on? I don't even know. We're so excited. We have rain on the forecast every single day for the next seven days, like big rain. And I know that sounds crazy to some of you, but down here, it's like a major event when it rains. All right, I'm gonna slide my flowers back here. You know, I'm gonna have to cut that off just a little bit. We're just gonna lay them across the little summer table here. And we'll take, you know what? I only needed one, one thing of lemons anyway. Well, we'll save that because we're using it again in a little while. All right, we'll put our little lemons over here. How cute. I mean, right, it's like a little summer tablescape, a little Mother's Day lemonade. It's making my mouth water. Um, I'm gonna add Wink of Stella. That's gonna give you that little sparkly shine. Um, this, be careful when you use your Wink of Stella because it will smear your ink. So kind of go around your ice cubes. Um, this ribbon, super adorable. It is in a three pack of ribbon. It is feminine, right? It's the colors, Judy. Um, it's the bubble bath and that lemon lolly, I think together are just beautiful. So this ribbon comes in a three pack and it's <sighs> yellow, pink, and blue. It's bubble bath, lemon lolly, and I can't remember what the blue is, but it also colors really nicely on a project that I did for a team training. I took my blend and colored the, mar the uh, ribbon and it completely changed the color. So if you have this ribbon and you're like, I don't need that color, I need I don't know, Highland Heather. Well, get out your Highland Heather Stampin' Blend and color it. Um, this ribbon takes color really well. And the blend will dry and um, and it just works really good. All right, so tie your bow and <laughs> grab your glue, many glue dot, and put that right there. And I forgot to stamp the sentiment, you guys. Oh, and the dimensional's right there, okay. All right, you know what? Let's use this. Let's use this. Thank you kindly. You could use this card. Is that on this side? No. You can use this card for any occasion. You can use it for Happy Mother's Day. We don't have a current Happy Mother's Day stamp right now, unless I'm completely blind and can't find it. But we've had them in the past. You know what, I probably shouldn't have just taken that off because I'm gonna need it. All right, let's stamp this and see if I can if I can stamp it. And then I can lay it back down if I need to. Because I put dimensionals. Once you put dimensionals down there, boom, awesome. Once you put your dimensionals down there, it's hard to stamp. All right, there you go, guys. What do you think? Super cute. I love it. Very feminine. You're right, looks like a... I don't know, baby shower colors or something. Very cute. All righty. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Let's move on to our next card. And I'm only using the uh, glasses and the pitcher on this one project. Um, I love them, but I was trying to kind of stretch the stamp set and give you more options. And this time, we are going to use the other pitcher. There's another pitcher in the set. I keep looking down thinking I'm going to see that die. It's going to just be like, here I am. But it's not. I have a feeling it like flew to the inside of the table. There's also like some trash on the floor by my trash can, <laughs> which is right there. So it's probably in there somewhere. Hi. Okay. Anyway, let me clean. Hold on. Hold on. Hold please. Let me make clean, clean up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. This next card features three stamp sets. We're using, obviously, So Refreshing. 
I'm using Wonderful Thoughts, which, have we already used this? I feel like we've used this once. Um, this is like our Charming Sentiments. Is that what it's called? Um, Lisa's Million Dollar Stamp Set that was in the annual catalog last year. This is kind of like a continuation of that bundle. And then, ah, Sketched Plaid. You guys know I was going to love this stamp, right? Anything plaid, gingham, it's totally, I'm getting it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, what do we want to do first? Let's do our little watercolor. We're going to do a little watercolor wash. We have got, I've cut out a stylish shape um, from watercolor paper. And it's the largest circle. So we're just going to do like a little, little wash of color. I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. And... I want it really light. I don't want it very dark. So I'm gonna use a lot of water. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of add, just do, 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 give us a little, little watercolor background. I always go too far. Okay, stop, move on. That's all you need, Erica. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna, let's bring back over our Stamparatus. And I have that sketch pad set up for us. We are going to stamp it in Bubble Bath. I keep wanting to call this color Bubble Gum, but it is Bubble Bath. All right, so let's see if we can get this lined up about Nope, I'm gonna have to turn it this way, right here. Okay. And bubble bath. Azure Afternoon Robin is the blue on the triple pack. Thank you, Robin. Azure, Azure. My husband and I have been discussing this color, A-Z-U-R. E, right? A-Z-U-R-E. And I think it's fancy, like azure. And he said, Erica, that's azure. And I was like, you're totally wrong, buddy. He's like, uh, it's azure. And we drove by some apartments that are called, I don't know, azure, azure something. He was like, look, azure blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no. So maybe I'm saying it wrong. I probably am, because I usually am wrong. But I like to just say azure, because that sounds kind of fancy. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will correct me. Just kidding. You don't need to correct me. It's all right. It's okay. We can all say things however we want to say them. All right, let's stamp our um, flowers. And this time, I'm going to have to set up my stamparatus again, because I got crazy. We're going to stamp... make it in this little corner right here. We're gonna use bubble bath for the flowers. And you can either stamp off first or you can do it, I've done it both ways. You can um, stamp it in the same color and then stamp it again so it's a little bit darker. Let's see what that looks like. Bubble bath. And then stamp again, bubble bath, and then, yeah, it looks good. All right, now, we've got to reset this because I took it off. So let's see if I can do this while on camera. That looks to be about right. And yesterday, I have clean recordings of all of these, which just means I have an individual recording on YouTube for you. So you can come back and watch it on YouTube if you want without all the chit chat. I used the wrong color yesterday. I used Granny Apple Green, which really is fine. But we're using Granny Apple Green cardstock. So let's use Granny Apple Green ink. And I'm going to stamp off first and then stamp so that it's a lighter version of that green. Okay. All right. Now you need two sets of these flowers. So let's do it all again. We'll just go backwards. All right, I while I'm doing this, I have some show discussions 
I watched a couple of new things this week that we need to discuss, okay? The first one is Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Now, I've watched Marvelous Mrs. Maisel for years. It's on Amazon Prime, and I have loved it. Loved it, loved, loved, loved. So this is the last season, it came out, and I'm not real happy, you guys. How many of you have watched that? I thought last week, I thought the last episode that's on there, which is episode six, was the last episode of the series, and I was furious. But then I realized they're releasing one every Friday. So there's, I think, two. Oh, my gosh. Look what I just did. That landed on my green. Darn it. I'm going to have to do some cleaning. That has never happened to me. It went boop. I've had paper do that for sure. Okay, back to the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, you guys. Oh, look what else happened. It did land on the paper. Okay, can we cover that up? Can we save this? I think we can. <laughs> wow, it's got green and pink on it. Yeah, I should have taken the missing die as a sign that today is gonna be cuckoo. Um, you also need the lemons, so luckily we've already done that. We're, I'm gonna come back to Mrs. Maisel in a second because we need to discuss this. Um, this die is not from this set. This is from the Share a Milkshake set. And um, we're going to cut that from white. It's a little dish. We're going to cut out these itty bitty teeny tiny strawberries from Sweet Sorbet. Okay. And they're tiny. And we're going to cut out um, the, these, which are even tinier. These are the little like stems on the strawberries. And then we're going to cut out some leaves. Those both from Garden Green. All right, now while I'm doing the die cutting, we're gonna come back. Oh, 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 and this, the blanket. This is that same paper, something eclectic, and both sides is super cute. I actually was gonna use the stripe, and then when I cut it out, I saw the back side and I liked it even better. So I think we're gonna stick with the flowers. Okay, let me move all this over here. Dear Lord, please don't let me lose another die. I can't take another disaster today. Okay. While I'm setting this up, you guys, Mrs. Maisel, has anybody said anything as what? Azut blue? Azut? Surely not. Azure? Azut? Well, then I'm really butchering it. Okay, Jana, love Mrs. Maisel. Jana, have you watched this next season? My problem with this season is they have turned her into a horrible person. She's nasty and she's not nice. And it's kind of one of those where they jump forward and show like 30 years from now and then they come back and show what's happening and then they jump back and she's an awful person. And I'm super mad about it. There's two more episodes. Now that I know that there's two more episodes, I'm a little like, okay, maybe they're gonna tie it with a nice little bow here at the end. But let me tell you, I don't like where what they have done to Mrs. Maisel. It's a great show. It takes place, if you haven't watched it, it takes place in the late 50s. And the costumes and the sets, the scenery, it's just a beautiful, everything is beautiful. Um, it's fun. It takes place in New York City. Um, she is a housewife who decides she wants to be a comedian. And it's, I mean, it's hilarious. It's so funny. Um, but, you know, a lot of things happen. And she gets a divorce and, you know, she's living as a single mom and there's a lot of things, but it's good. I just, I'm not sure about this season if I can now continue to say that I like it. We'll see. Don't you hate when a show ends? You're like, why did they end it like that? Like the Sopranos. I'll never forgive the Sopranos. Okay. These tiny little pieces, you're going to lose them and you're going to get frustrated Get your, take your pick tool, okay? And that will help you because it's really, they're, they're not easy to pick up, especially if you have nails, okay? And we're gonna use those that uh, take your pick tool here in a second also. 
Um, okay, so that was Mrs. Maisel. I'm very upset about it. Um, Tiffany, you're a few shows behind this season. Okay, I'm just not happy with it. I don't know. Terrible to her kids, Marianne, right? She's horrible. And then her kids, they show her kids older. And that's sad. I don't Just the whole thing is sad. I'm like, why? Why did you guys have to do that? We need a piece of this. So I'm going to cut a piece off. Here's the other thing that I watched that I highly recommend. And it's Queen Charlotte. Now, if you have watched... Oh, no. Wait, I got to point this out. I made this mistake yesterday. There are two picture dies in this set. This one is for the stamped image, the one that we already used. It'll work, but this one is um, better intended for a non-stamped picture. It's going to cut a little slit in there too. Okay, Queen Charlotte is on Netflix and it's in the Bridgerton series, which that's a whole nother thing. This I thought I could have cared. Uh, you know, I was like, well, it doesn't look really good. She was kind of not a nice character, and I didn't really like her because she's the queen from Bridgerton, queen of England. It is so good. And I don't know if I'm just emotional or hormonal this week, but I have cried watching it. Every single episode made me cry. It was so good. So good. It's a little bit racy. There's some, you know course because they have to um so if you don't like that then don't watch it but the characters the characters on those on the on that show on that series are outstanding like I did not think that they could make it that good it was so good have you guys seen it Queen Charlotte Jana what do you think did you cry okay I thought man what's going on my hormones I'm like crying I mean I was crying it is so good and you know what I looked it up She's a real person, Queen Charlotte, and that story is loosely based on a completely true story that happened. Um, she was married to a king who um, they called him mad. He uh, had some kind of mental illness, and uh, she was a, an amazing queen. Like, she, she's amazing. So, anyway, those are my plugs for this week. Oh, this one is not the right trimmer. I gotta get this other trimmer. Hold on. Those are my plugs for this week. Now, you guys, if you watched anything new, you need to tell me because now I'm kind of out. I saw somebody say the last thing he told us on Apple TV. That is actually my next thing to watch because I read the, that book and I was kind of hoping my husband and I could watch it together, but I need something to have on during the day while I'm working and I think that's gonna be it. All right, I'm cutting this down to four inches by five and a fourth. And then we're gonna piece it all together. But Queen Charlotte, I had very low expectations for Queen Charlotte, very low. And it was, I was pleasantly surprised. All right, we're going to need a ton of dimensionals here. So let me grab, do I have a new sheet? Have I used dimensionals already today? I have, but we're going to need many ones too. Let's see if we can hide my disaster. Okay, we're going to put this a little bit lower. <laughs> I think we're going to need to put it a little bit lower than we did on our previous card. I mean, I was really tempted to throw it away, but no, we're going to make it work. We're going to just put this down a little bit lower like that. Okay, take your, your flowers and put them in here. I think this would make a great Mother's Day card as well. I'm making my mom, I hope she's not on here. Mom, are you on here? I'm making her something special for her Mother's Day card. I will show it to you guys on my blog while I'm gone. I got the idea today. I'm very excited about it. Now I put those flowers in there. I'm going to put the dimensionals on top like this. So it's kind of double dipping your, um, your adhesive, put it on top. Firefly, Firefly Lane. Okay. So I tried to watch the first season of that and I was just kind of, I don't know. What's her name? The blonde. She annoys me. Oh, that's still kind of showing there, isn't it? Well, we're just going to go with it. All right. So there's that. Now, I'm going to get a little, um, 
I'm gonna get a little fancy here with this bowl. These, these strawberries, again, I'm telling you, are itty bitty, teeny tiny, eensy weensy. And so we've got to we've got to put the little um, the little stem on there. So just but don't even squeeze your glue. Okay, just like set it down there so that you've got that teeny tiny little teeny itty bitty dot. Now these stems are smaller than your blob of putty. <laughs> I mean they're so small. So get pick it up and then use your scissors. I know you guys probably can't see what I'm doing. Use your scissors to set it down on there to pull it off of your putty. Okay? And set it down like that. Oh, I have to give you guys, I have to give you another update on the, the new house, the studio. I have to tell you what they did. But first, let's finish this. All right, now I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to put it on the back of this bowl. And I'm going to just take these guys and just kind of put them close together like that. And then I'm going to pick them up with that adhesive on the back. See what I did? All right. Now that's still a little bit wet. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to stick dimensionals on top of them like that. And hopefully they're going nowhere. And we'll set that bowl right, okay. <laughs> There's a piece of fuzz here. If you have used the new jute, the new in color jute trim, it's very fuzzy and there's fuzz everywhere. Um, Patricia, you were disappointed in Firefly Lane. Hi, Lois, you're out of state, hour difference from home and you, oh, well, you caught me, you got it. Um, Laura, I feel like I did read Firefly Lane. Um, or maybe I thought I was going to after the first season. I can't remember. Um, okay, bring back those lemons that we fussy cut. Man, I cannot believe I lost that die because we're going to need two more of these. Um, okay, we're going to set these lemons kind of like they're in the bowl also. And then get a little dot. Ooh, that was probably too much glue. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do what you're supposed to do. And we're going to slide just one set of these leaves behind there. All right, now I was talking while I was die cutting and I wasn't paying attention, so we have to bring it back over because we forgot the sentiment. This sentiment, thinking of you, I stop me if I've already told you guys this. I have a really hard time die cutting this set. Same with the other words. I can never get it centered exactly right. So I have been using this new little trick where you take the die and is this it? Is this the one we need? Yes. You take the die and you cut out a template. Okay. And then you put it around your stamped words. I'm going to show you. Um, see how I kept the template in my, in, I need some cardstock in my case. So once you've made your template once, then you can just leave it there in your template, I mean, in your case. All right, garden green stamped off so it's not too terribly dark. And then we'll take our cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna put this right here. This helps, if you're having trouble with any of your dies, do this, cut a little, just a little template, a little mask, because the I think the problem with these is that the metal on the outside is too thick. It cuts such a close line, like the white bubble around the outside is very, very narrow. And so you can't really see exactly if you're in the right place. But when you take the die off and you can see the window, it frames it perfectly. So you set the die down in there and then you take it out and there you go. All right, perfect. Now, man, I've got a mess. It's just getting messy over here. Now we're just gonna take our dimensional and will a big, nope, nope, you know what? 
we're gonna just do a blue dot here because we want it to be even with, we're gonna put glue dots right there and then we'll take this and put it right there. All right, bring this over. See, this I this set's a little tedious. I will I will give you that, but it's so cute. The end result, you know, like you're playing dollhouse. You're you're setting up a little table, a tiny little table of cuteness. And then put that right there in the middle, like that. And then last but not least, you're gonna put that on your white card base. Okay, so I shared pictures of the studio update, you guys. The countertop, okay, first, first, the island was shorter than the rest of the cabinets. It was table height, not counter height. So that was a whole thing. They came out, they put a thing on top of it so that it would raise the, the counter up. They put the counter on and it's supposed to, it's, okay, imagine a square. It's got two sets of cabinets on opposite sides. The countertop is supposed to go this way with an overhang and overhang for people to sit and then over here it's flush so you can open the drawer and the cabinets okay well obviously what they did is they made it hang off way off this side so that there's like this much counter and you can't even get to the drawers okay so we laughed haha -ha, funny ridiculous these people whatever the we sent a, a note we're done i pretty much covered up everything but that little dot right there of green that's cute isn't it those strawberries are adorable we sent a note to our our building superintendent he said yeah he had already noticed it he couldn't believe it haha ha, funny funny so we told him okay turn it 90 degrees boop and center so we went back yesterday and all they had done was center it so now both sides with the cabinet and the drawers have an overhang over <laughs> over the drawers I'm like, guys, I mean, you don't have to be a crafter to know that you don't have an overhanging counter where there's a drawer. Why, why is this so hard, you guys? So I'm going back today. I hope they came back and fixed it. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I know, right, Judy? Oh my goodness is right. I told my husband he was gonna text the building superintendent. I said, just text him that emoji. You know, where you have, you have like your palm on your face. That's all you need to do because at this point, literally, why is, why are they making it so difficult? And it was glued down. Like how do you, I don't even know how they get that off with that adhesive. That is strong adhesive. You guys, I am talking too much. It's 308. I got to hurry up. All right. We have one more project and I'm not going to talk at all. I'm not going to talk. I'm just gonna show you. Let's pray that I get this right. I found, I was at the grocery store last week, just happened to stumble upon a special edition of Little Debbie Mother's Day Cakes. They are lemon flavored. They are delicious. Lemon is my favorite flavor. So that's what we're making. And I thought that these could be Mother's Day or any time. Um, we're using time spent together is the sweetest, okay? I'm also using this new set of dies right here. I use this one to cut out the tag. These are called nested essentials. Um, and like I mentioned at the beginning, this set goes really well with the sweet citrus um, uh, bundle. So we're gonna use just this lemon right here. I'm gonna put in a piece of Daftil Delight in there. You can do the dye and the um, embossing folder at the same time. Let's, but let's make the box first, okay? Let's, everybody, hold your breath, cross your fingers, and let's see if I got it right today. This is Lemon Lolly, and I've lost my paper. I've lost my paper. Oh, yeah, here it is. Measurements are on the second sheet, okay? And I think that this is what we need. Ready? Seven by six. And look, it's seven by five. I'm already wrong. I'm already wrong, you guys. Let's see. Did I cut it wrong or is my paper wrong? Let's see. Hold on. Where's my... I have an example here somewhere. Here it is. It does 7 by 5. Okay, paper's already wrong. It should be 7 by 5. Okay. Hold on, guys. Get ready. Let's see. 1 and a fourth. 
and then two and a fourth. Nope, already wrong. Already wrong. Short side or long side? You know what? I have two sheets of paper today. You know what? This shouldn't be this hard. This is a very simple box. Seven by five. Long side. <laughs> no, I'm scared now. Wait a minute. One and a fourth and one. Do, 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 do. Maybe it does need to be six, huh? Seven by six. Bring that back over here. Bring that back over here. One and a fourth, two and a fourth, three and a half, four and a half. It was right all along. It was right. But it does need to be seven by five. And then one and six. Okay, let's check the measurements again. What did I say? One and a fourth. Two and a fourth. This, uh, yeah, this is wrong. Gosh, darn it. Okay, so it's the paper that's wrong. One and a fourth, two and a fourth, three and a half, three and a half, and four and a half, and then one and six is right. All right, if you already printed and saved the PDF, you gotta, you gotta delete it. I gotta fix it. Gosh darn it. Dagnabbit. I, you know, now, now I'm going to be like super paranoid about all my boxes. Take your lemon slice and your lemon lolly ink. Once you get your box, the right measurements <laughs> and stamp it all over. Also, we've got a tag here basic white. Let's just add some lemons to this as well. Okay, there we go. Now, bone folder, a little snip, snip, snip. I can't believe how late I'm going. We have a soccer game tonight, the last one of the regular season. I thought it was going to be rained out, but I think we're going to, we're going to squeeze it in before the Biblical rains, that's what I keep calling it. The biblical rains appear. My kids just roll their eyes. On this side, there's a half inch section. You want to cut off those rectangles, okay? And then just a snippy snip snip all the way down. This box is one and a fourth wide and one inch thick. I bought these thinking they were like the Nutty Buddies, you know, the, the crunchy, delicious Nutty Buddies, but they're soft, they're a cake. They're still good. They would have been better if they'd been like a wafer, you know? All right, adhesive on this, fold over, and there is your box. Now, fold in, fold in. You wanna fold the back in, and then the front, you're gonna fold in last so that you have those nice rounded edges in the front. Okay, here's the test. Oh, thank you, it worked. <laughs> Sides, back, front. This time we're using the one of the other ribbons in that ribbon trio. Now that I have used the pink and the yellow, I'm gonna have to design a project with the azure or azure or something else blue, whatever it is because now I'm gonna have a lot of blue left over when I send you guys your make and takes. Oh goodness. Start over. <laughs> What's happening? What is happening here? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, very carefully. There we go. So the top, we did not adhere closed. We're just going to, if I can get my fingers to work, tie a bow. There you go. And then snippity snip, snippity snip. It's cute. Isn't that soft yellow? You know, I was really sad that So Saffron left us. I really love So Saffron, but... I have forgiven Stampin' Up! because Lemon Lolly is a great color. 
All right, so what do we need? We need our dies. Our dies have disappeared. You guys, where did the dies go? Are they on the other tray? They are. We need... This is... Um, I couldn't think of the stupid name yesterday. This is soft sea foam. And we're gonna cut two of these leaves. We need to cut these leaves again. And in fact, you know what? I had some of those leaves left. Did I throw them all away? I did. We'll cut them again. Those. And we need those lemons, but obviously I'm gonna have to fussy cut those guys. So let's cut these out. I wonder how many times I've lost a die during Facebook Live. I think, I think, I don't think I've ever completely lost it. Have I? Where I had to actually fussy cut? Maybe I have. I've lost stamps before. I just, you know, when you hear that cling on the floor, you know, uh-oh. Maybe if I can find my magnetic wand, that will help me find it. All right, you're gonna need your embossing plate. So for this, remember we've put the die in here already. And we're just gonna put plate four on top and it will cut all of them out and emboss them at the same time. And we're just gonna use this one right here. Isn't that cool? I love sweet citrus a lot. All right, now I'm gonna do some speed cutting. We need this and this and this and this. And we'll stamp one, two. Did we use the other one? Did we use it? We did. Yes, I couldn't remember. Okay, and then we're gonna stamp this on top. Nope. Let's see. There we go. In daffodil light. And then I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna take it over to my die cut machine that's not on camera and cut it with a die that I didn't lose. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, that was terrible. I did a terrible job cutting. That's all right. That's all right. So Mother's Day, what are you guys doing? We got Mother's Day coming up. I'll be packing for Mother's Day. That's what I'll be doing. Nothing fun. Actually, my husband said he was gonna take me to Ikea and buy a table for my new studio. That's my Mother's Day present. So that is fun. All right, lastly, we need to stamp the sentiment in Pebbled Path. Do I have Pebbled Path here though? I feel like I don't have it. Is it over here? Did I put it away? Hmm. It's probably somewhere on the floor with the dye. <laughs> we'll use basic gray. Pebbled Path is one of my new favorite colors. It's a great kind of a stony gray, darker than black, but not super dark. I mean, not as dark as black, but dark. All right, time spent together is the sweetest. Your son is cooking Mother's Day dinner? Judy, nice. Oh, my husband is pulling in. He probably thinks, why aren't you done yet? Okay, quick, quick, put these on. I can hear his truck, it's so loud. All right, put your lemons on. I don't know why I went so late today. I guess because we were talking. Put these on. Do do boop 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 boop. Couple of green leaves. And my take your pick tool. Good thing I have two of them because I don't know where the other one is. This one needs new putty. Ah, oh, here it is. 
slide that in right there. So you can see I use this as non-lemonade. Didn't use the pitcher or the glasses, but still lemon themed. And then you just wanna squish it right there. And there you go. So cute. That's a fun treat. Teacher appreciation, nurses appreciation, Mother's Day, all the things. Those little Debbie treats are only available for a limited time. So make sure that you get them before they're gone. I linked them on Amazon, but you can use the um, you can use the little Debbie snack finder um, to find them in your area. Hi Ted, I'm still on Facebook Live. Sorry, I'll be done in a minute. Um, then I have two other projects to show you guys. This one I posted yesterday. Used, I use a lot of new things on here. You can see this background dye um, is, I can't remember, something garden. Isn't that pretty though? You need to check it out. It has two background dyes like that. Um, and then this little dye right here is from the Lazy Days dyes. The ones that has the rocking porch with the, I mean the rocking chair on the porch. Really cute. And that little um, scallop right there actually came out from right there. So it's two parts of it. And I use the strawberries this time, pink lemonade. The details on that are yesterday on yesterday's project. And then this project, this is a K cup. Now we have HEB here and I know not everybody has HEB, but these are on Amazon. They are K cups that make strawberry lemonade. And my daughter and I made them. She loves lemonade. Um, it's kind of interesting because it comes out hot and then you put ice on it. And it cools down, obviously, but it melts the ice. You have to use a lot of ice. But strawberry lemonade K-cup. There's also lemon tea K-cups that you could use. So I'll have this and hopefully a video on Monday for you for this one, okay? All right, that's it today. That's it for several weeks. I won't be back until, um, oh gosh, I don't know. You know, we're going to be gone the first, so it may be... Actually, we're going to be on, we're taking the kids to the coast on the 2nd. So maybe Facebook Friday will be June 1st, Facebook Thursday. All right, you guys. All right, that's it. Remember, if you want these um, projects for free, make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want at stampinup.com. It doesn't have to be this suite, I mean this bundle, um, but you will need this bundle or something in its place to do your stamping, Okay. Um, thanks, you guys. I um, will be posting pictures on Facebook of our trip, and I hope you'll follow along. And um, have a great Mother's Day, you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.